Hello, good morning or good evening. I'm Snack Attack and thank you for tuning into today's video. Today I'm here with a bit of a dual mode sun offense team. So when I was starting this team together, I wanted to make a dual mode between Torkoal plus Lilligant and then Great Tusk plus a Tailwind Setter. The main reason I didn't go for the standard Talonflame plus Great Tusk lead was because I wanted a Prankster Haze Setter or at least a Haze user as well on my team and Murkrow fit pretty well for that. Plus he fits on pretty well with Quash as well, so it ends up fitting and synergizing a lot with the team. From here, let's get into the individual breakdowns. So the first Pokemon and the one that the team is built around is the Torkoal here. Mine's nickname is Natsu. If I remember correctly, it's a pretty, like, bulkily... Yeah, it's, pr it's max HP, max special attack with a little bit in special defense. And as you can see, it's based around just like getting off these absolutely nuclear blows with Earth Power as a bit of extra coverage. Next up is the support mon helping it out. We have a Terra Ghost Lilligant with a Focus Sash. Uh, this is a Chlorophyll mon and it is max speed, max HP with I think like four special attack to let it just do a bit of damage off of Leaf Storm. The main purpose of this Pokemon is just under Sun, which Torkoal sets, you just click after you, it's fast as hell, and then Torkoal goes next with either Eruption or Overheat, depending on what you want. Following them, we have uh, Sukuna, my King Gambit. So this is a Terra Fire build with an Assault Vest. Uh, the main purpose is it just synergizes well with Sun. Uh, this is a max HP, max attack, with I believe 4 special defense again. The main point of this build is to get off some absolutely nuclear hits with either your Stabs or your Fire Terra Blast under Drought. Plus, Defiant is always useful when Intimidate's running around in the form of Arcanine. The fourth member of the team is a Fluttermane I nicknamed Night Terror. This is another Terra Fire Mon to help synergize under Drought, and this is a Choice Specs one. Uh, admittedly you could swap the Choice Specs out for Booster Energy since I'm not running it on the team, but I figured Choice Specs is pretty good because I always get the damage boost. Uh, as for the stat spread, as you can see it's max special attack, max speed, and then it's just got a bunch of coverage moves. Admittedly I'm running Dazzling Gleam over Moonbeam, or Moonblast, because I do want the spread coverage because it does help with the extra damage on this team because this is an offensive team. But, do note, you can lose to Wide Guard because of that. Uh, we have the main support of the team here at Murkrow, mine's nickname is Dealer. Uh, it's an Eviolite build. Uh, it is a mix of HP, Special Defense, and Defense that just lets it survive a bunch of hits that would otherwise kill it. Uh, we have Prankster with Tailwind, Quash, and Haze for the moves, and then Foul will play in case we are taunted. Uh, this way we can still do something. The main purpose of this mon is to set Tailwind and to use Quash to pester the opponent. And Haze is there to help deal with enemy Don Dozo. And the final member of the team is one from the last profile too. This is my Great Tusk Mufasa. Uh, as you can see from the stat spread, this is a max attack, max speed with a little bit in HP I believe. Uh, and then it's just a bunch of coverage moves. It's got Close Combat, Ice Spinner, and Earthquake. And then it's got Protect on it. Pretty simple build, holding a life orb for the extra damage, nothing too crazy. Honestly, if I had to think about one or two things to change on the team, I'd say swapping out Murkrow for Talonflame isn't that bad, and swapping out King Gambit for another Pokemon could work out pretty well. But for now, this is the team I'm going to be testing with in the next few videos. But again, this is a Sun Offense team. I'm going to leave this rental team up until the end of Series 2, which will be for I think another two weeks. And then it'll go down. In the description down below, you'll see a pokey paste with the actual like EV breakdowns for these sets if you ever want to rebuild these in the future, and if you ever want to look back and see what this was like. But thank you for tuning into the video today. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I'll catch you guys around in the next time. See you around.